Realtree's Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Ozonix, Redneck Blinds, Wasp Archery, Spot Hog Releases, RTP Outdoors, America's Best Bowstrings, Hoyman Tree Saws, and Realtree. It's Monday, December 2nd. And we went down to our last few days before the Iowa shotgun season. I worked most of the day today. I was able to get out about 2.30 and we decided to do something a little more lighthearted. We came out to my new farm and uh, Jake and Max and I are all tucked in this redneck. Uh, I am on a doe mission. I only have a buck tag for the urban zone but I've got a bunch of does out here and I've got some doe tags. I've got one doe in particular that's got a double white throat patch that uh, I'd love to get a shot at. And then Max has his buck tag still. And I've got a couple mature bucks I've got on camera out here. And uh, if one of those guys shows up, hopefully Max can get a shot at him. And I just got quite a bit of food right here, everything the deer should want. The weather's pretty nice. We've got a west-northwest wind that's really, really light right now. It's about 32 degrees and clear skies. Oh, it's a beautiful day. And uh, if we're hoping for at least getting a couple does down, if we're lucky, maybe a good buck will show up.
that got pretty exciting. <laughs> that eight point, I've got a lot of pictures of, and I think he's at least a four year old, or earlier in the year, I had put him as a five year old. I think he's lost a little bit of weight. Just during the rut, you can see his neck and his brisket and his belly, everything. He's a pretty big deer. And he was working the scrapes along the edge of the brassicas. And then right at the last minute, he decided to cut this corner and go out in the beans. So the closest he got was about 59. I thought for sure he was going to come work the scrape at 30 yards and give Max a shot. And then while he's out here, I got to see one of the deer that I mentioned earlier in the year that uh, I really wanted to see. He's just a really nice, big nine point, long beams, good mass. And he looks, I have him as a, I was on the fence earlier in the year, but by the end of October, I, I decided he was a four year old and I wasn't gonna hunt him this year. He's a really nice looking deer. I hope he can make it. It was good to have an encounter with him and get some footage of him. The wind is supposed to be west, northwest, blowing back into the, uh, this pasture. But at seven or eight tonight, it's supposed to switch to southwest. And so I don't know if the wind swirls a little bit or, or what spooked him, but I can still see that nine point in the timber there. So they're not too spooked. We're down to about 40 minutes, 45 minutes. So I'm gonna sit tight. And hopefully that eight point makes his way back out here. to our last 15 minutes of legal shooting and we've got one little buck out in the turnips. Right after I finished that last interview, multiple deer, deer started coming out. That nine point actually came back out. We had a, a doe and a fawn and a couple other little bucks, but I'm still not sure. I think they were getting our wind. I think our wind is swirling a little bit out of the south, but I could hear a deer blowing in the pasture behind us too. So I'm not sure if that got them spooked up. Um, anyway, if we see anything else, we'll show it to you guys. Otherwise, we may try to get back out here this week sometime.